Hello, I'm Nils. In this video, I'll be talking about nitric oxide, an important compound that's produced naturally in the human body, which declines during aging, how to easily and inexpensively test our levels, and several ways of restoring nitric oxide to youthful levels. Nothing in this video is intended as or should be taken as medical advice. Nitric oxide plays a role in a number of important physiological functions. One is that it's a vasodilator supporting the dilation of blood vessels in the human body, which is key to maintaining good sexual functioning in both men and women. High levels of nitric oxide also support immune health and can protect us against respiratory infections, such as the one that caused so many deaths and health problems in the world over the past few years. Using nitric oxide topically improves wound healing. If we have impaired levels of nitric oxide, the result can be wounds that actually don't ever heal. The aging process itself also reduces the amount of nitric oxide in the body, which can interfere with our ability to make memories and learn new information. Some researchers believe that this may be one of the key factors in the loss of cognitive abilities that many people experience as we age. Various things can deplete our nitric oxide levels, including eating processed food and using mouthwashes that contain chlorhexidine and also the aging process itself. Fortunately, there are several ways of boosting our nitric oxide levels. They include, number one, stopping smoking if you're a smoker. Number two, eating foods rich in nitrates and nitrites, which the body can convert into nitric oxide. Examples include beets and beet juice, carrots and arugula and celery. Number three, eating foods rich in arginine, a precursor to nitric oxide, such as red meat, turkey, chicken, pork, lentils, or chickpeas, as well as salmon, shrimp, and other seafood. Um, number four, taking L-citrulline supplements, or eating foods rich in L-citrulline, such as watermelon, squash, or cucumbers. L-citrulline is converted into arginine in our kidneys, and taking L-citrulline is more effective at raising nitric oxide than taking preformed arginine. Number five, eating foods rich in antioxidants, such as blueberries, green tea, lemon, and grapefruit. Number six, regular exercise, making sure that you include some aerobic exercise, such as running, swimming, or cycling, all of which stimulate the production of nitric oxide. Number seven, getting enough sun exposure. Sun exposure on the skin can trigger the release of nitric oxide. Sunlight, of course, contains ultraviolet UV rays, which interact with compounds in our epidermis to produce more nitric oxide. Number eight, and I probably should have had this at the top of the list because it's vitally important, avoiding antibacterial mouthwashes. Or if you do use a mouthwash, taking measures to restore your nitric oxide levels every day after using it. According to a study called Antiseptic Mouthwash, the nitrate, nitrite, nitric oxide pathway and hospital mortality, quote, antiseptic mouthwashes are associated with mortality in hospitalized patients. Nitric oxide is essential in multiple physiological processes and a reduction in nitric oxide bioavailability is associated with the occurrence or worsening of pathologies such as atherosclerosis, diabetes, and sepsis. Because antiseptic mouthwashes eradicate the oral bacterial flora, this nitric oxide generating pathway is abolished, which can result in nitric oxide deficient conditions potentially leading to life-threatening 
complications, end quote. If you do use mouthwash, one way that you can restore your oral bacteria after using it is to first rinse your mouth thoroughly, then chew a product designed to restore the oral bacteria, and do this after every time you brush. Eating fermented foods daily, including fermented beets, can also have a restorative effect. Number nine, humming. According to a study called Strong Humming for One Hour Daily to Terminate Chronic Rhinosinusitis in Four Days, and several confirming studies, we can also increase nitric oxide by humming. Humming increases NO levels in both our airways and our blood. It leads to a 15 to 20 fold increase in nitric oxide levels, helping to open up airways and kill pathogens. Now, many different frequencies of humming can work, but the best frequencies in terms of raising nitric oxide have been found to be somewhere in the range of 130 hertz. I usually start my day with about 10 minutes of humming, breathing in through my nose and humming on the exhale. A variation would be to block off one nostril while humming. So one good thing about living in this day and age is that we've identified a lot of compounds that matter and can have an anti-aging effect. We know that nitric oxide is important. We know some of the things that can deplete it and we know of several different things that can increase our level if it does become depleted. One thing you might want to think about, this being the case, would be testing it. The test that I'm showing you here is an easy and affordable one. Nitric oxide itself is a gas and dissipates rapidly, so it's actually hard to measure. But this test and ones like it work by testing our levels of nitrites and nitrates in our bodies, which correlates very closely with our nitric oxide levels. There are different ways to use the test kit. What I've found works best and most reliably is to just spit some saliva into a cup, then dip the little strip into it and leave it there for five or 10 seconds and then pull it out and check your levels. Now, the first time that I tried using a test strip, I did a little experiment. I went ahead and I brushed my teeth and then I used some Listerine mouthwash. And then I rinsed my mouth very thoroughly and I waited about 10 minutes and then I checked my nitric oxide levels. And they were so low it was barely detectable. I checked again about two hours later and again it was virtually undetectable. I then ate a very thin slice from an organic beet, which is very high in nitrites. I chewed an oral probiotic tablet. The probiotics help restore your mouth bacteria, which are one of the pathways to creating nitric oxide. And I ate a bite of red raw sauerkraut. I also then took two capsules of Mercola's fermented beet powder. I waited about 15 minutes. Oh, I should say that I rinsed my mouth with water after taking all those things. And then I waited about 15 minutes. So it would be a fair test. Um, and then I tested again, and this time my levels were optimal. Now, before I get to the closing, I should also mention that the videos on this channel are sponsored by Do Not Age, a longevity research company, which also sells some excellent, carefully vetted anti-aging supplements. I take their NMN, a compound which raises NAD levels and helps with DNA repair, TMG, which restores the methyl groups that are used up when we take NAD boosters, calcium AKG, a compound that's been found to extend lifespan and compress morbidity in lab animals, and several other products on their website. One product that I would particularly recommend checking out if you're interested in extreme longevity and extended lifespan and health span is CERT6 Activator. Now, there are different companies that sell products that claim to activate the sirtuin 6 gene. Um, 
Do Not Age is, as far as I'm aware, the only company that is testing their source product in Dr. Vera Gorbanova's New York lab, batch by batch, before including it in their product to verify that it actually is activating the sirtuin 6 gene before including it in the product. And Gorbanova has said that they just toss out any products that she finds do not activate the gene. I've done a video about why I take Cert 6 activator elsewhere on this channel. You might want to check that out. Um, for a 10% discount on all of the products on Do Not Age's website, use the discount code PATHWAYS, being sure to type it in all caps. Thank you again for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.